Hello ladies and gentlemen, Ji Young here with another Fallout 4 news update. A user from Reddit supposedly has a friend who works in public relations at Bethesda, and this relationship has supposedly allowed him to learn some information about this upcoming game. Needless to say, Reddit is never the best source of information, so take all this with a grain of salt. Anyways, let's dive right into it. The Reddit user makes five distinct points. In his first point, he reiterates that the game will take place in Boston and that the game will be in some ways a direct sequel to Fallout 3. Nothing suspicious thus far. The setting being Boston by now is pretty much a given, especially considering Bethesda took a tour there to take pictures and film footage of the city a while ago. And as for Fallout 4 being something of a direct sequel, Bethesda has already done this with Skyrim, which takes place two centuries after the events of Oblivion, and which has the prophecy that points to all the major conflicts in the previous entries. So perhaps Bethesda is planning to flash out Fallout 3's storyline a bit through Fallout 4, since many criticized Fallout 3's lousy ending. Or there may just be some references to Fallout 3, and the game may actually take place a few years later. The same way Skyrim takes place two centuries after after the events of Oblivion and still references its prequel. The second point talks about the Institute, which is essentially MIT after the Great War, the cause of the nuclear holocaust that has polluted and ravaged the world in the lore of Fallout. The Institute is described as the downtown DC or New Vegas of this game, probably meaning a central hub of major operations where players will go to for the end game. Also, Boston is further detailed. The Reddit user says that Boston is going to be unlike anything ever seen in a Fallout game, having a more cyberpunk or retrofuturism feel to it, which is not unlikely since what was once MIT and is now the Institute is a source of advanced technology in the lore of Fallout, which likely has influenced its surrounding. Hopefully they don't stray too much from the feel of a nuclear holocaust, but regardless, I am interested to see how the world of Fallout 4 pans out. If these rumors are true, we can expect a less bleak, a less green, and a livelier setting than what we saw in Fallout 3. The third point talks about androids, which supposedly will play a big part in the game, with Boston as a likely setting for Fallout 4 and with the Institute as a likely major player, the fact that androids will play a big part in this game should come as no surprise. After all, these androids were created by the Institute, and they are designed to look and act as close to human as possible to the point where they are indistinguishable from humans. They even eat and do specific functions like regular humans. Now, if you've played Fallout 3, you may remember encountering one of these androids along with a faction called the Railroad, an underground movement working to free androids from their current restraints, since these androids, considered inhuman, have no rights and are treated as slaves. Now, because these androids are so close to human, Naturally, some will rebel by attempting escape. Some succeed, such as the android in Fallout 3, and some do not. Anyways, this faction, the Railroad, works to change all that. They aid android refugees and fight to free them from their creators. And this faction, according to this third point, will make a return in Fallout 4 and will confront a rival faction known as the Plantation, which uses androids as slaves in a farm to produce food for the feeding of humans. How the hell can a farm exist in the midst of a nuclear holocaust, you ask? The Institute, with their advanced technology, created their own Gek to start this farm. So, what do I think about all this? Honestly, nothing here raises an eyebrow. All of this seems natural considering the likely setting of Boston and with the Institute likely being a major element. Let's move on to the fourth point. Now here is something interesting. After the release of Fallout 3, apparently there have been complaints that Super Mutants and the Brotherhood of Steel were used too abundantly, and the way they were used apparently went against the lore too much, so Bethesda is avoiding to use these groups in Fallout 4. According to the Reddit user, Bethesda is actually planning to make a new race specifically for this game which will give them some creative freedom. Perhaps this new race will be more supernatural, since Bethesda is apparently looking into Lovecraftian horror fiction and applying that into their upcoming game. This fourth point is one of the more interesting ones. Not using the Brotherhood of Steel and Super Mutants in a Fallout game certainly raises eyebrows, considering they've made appearances in just about every Fallout game thus far. However, based on what I've seen in terms of lore, and correct me if I'm wrong, the Brotherhood of Steel doesn't seem to be too involved in the Commonwealth, aka Massachusetts. And since this game is rumored to take place in Boston, Massachusetts, a location whose lore has yet to be explored, 
Lord, this fourth point isn't necessarily impossible, but just a bit strange. Perhaps what he's trying to say is that they won't be major players like they were in Fallout 3 and that they will only make very few appearances. It may be wishful thinking, it's just kind of weird to me personally not seeing these at all in a Fallout game. And finally, the fifth point talks about the leveling system. Apparently, Bethesda really wants to make Fallout 4's leveling system unique, so they aren't planning to make it similar to Skyrim. They want this game to feel distinct, since one of the main criticisms for Fallout 3 is that certain aspects like leveling was too similar to Oblivion. Now, if there's one similarity the Fallout 4 leveling system will have compared to Skyrim is that skills will level up as those tasks are performed. But for the most part, Bethesda's aiming to separate this game from Skyrim and their previous games, including Fallout 3. I personally wouldn't mind having something similar to Skyrim and Fallout 4 since it worked so well, but I'm all for something fresh and new. So I am excited to see what Bethesda cooks up in their next major title. So there you have it ladies and gentlemen, all 5 points. So what do you guys think about these rumors? Let me know in the comments below. And of course, let me know if I missed anything. I'll be sure to keep you guys updated on Fallout 4, so join the nation and subscribe to Young Gear. In my channel I also cover other games such as Skyrim, Elder Scrolls Online, Grand Theft Auto 5, Metal Gear Solid 5, Ground Zeroes, The Legend of Zelda, and much more. Also be sure to subscribe to Young Gaming for my Let's Play videos. Subscribe to both and join the nation because every gamer needs an Asian. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you very much, and young out.